Yeah. I haven't even gotten the water yet, and Mike got one. Oh, nice, Mike. Nice. Nice. Look at that baby. Okay. I'm with my old army buddy here, Mike. Uh, we, we got down here to Lake Carrazo. I've got to tell you, the access to the lakes, it seems like it's a little difficult. This is the first place we're going to try fishing. Uh, we're not too far from the dam, and uh, we're just going to see what we can get. How about that? Rock on. All right, there we okay. go. So we tried this spot here, and as beautiful as it is, we've been skunked. So we're going to move to another spot and see if we have any more luck there. And so now we found another place, and it's right by an iglesia, by a church. And they said that we were allowed to walk down here. It's still private property, but we're allowed to walk down here and uh, try out some fishing. So spot number two, peacock bass fishing at Lake Carrazo. No way. Get him in, man. Get him in. Now, is he fighting? Oh man, that's a bass again, huh? Yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Beautiful, Mike. Hey, you got anything to say? Uh, let's get another one. Oh, let's get another one. <laughs> oh, Mike, I got one. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> he was right by the shore too, right by those weeds. Oh, look at that shit. Look at that stuff right there. Nice. Oh man. Hey. Oh my gosh, this is what we come to Puerto Rico for, my friends. I caught it off this uh, broken minnow. minnow. Man, that's a beautiful fish. We'll put him back to get a little bit bigger. I can only assume they get bigger. And uh, yeah, nice, not bad for coming to a lake that we know nothing about. This is what it's all about. Yeah. What's really interesting about this lake is that as beautiful and as close to San Juan as this lake is, the shoreline is really very inaccessible. I mean, look at this stuff I gotta climb to just to find a fishing spot. And when you do find a fishing spot, it's usually gonna be enough space for one person to put out their line and try it and now, I completely understand why so many of the videos that have been made by people here, they make them in kayaks. But with that, we remain undaunted. We endeavor to persevere, and we're gonna continue to hunt fish. Yeah. Oh, fish on, baby. Fish on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, it's a tilapia! Oh, let me get him out of here. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, you know, as far as tilapia go, not extremely huge. Oh man, I almost lost my shoe. But I'll tell you what, this right here, this is what C. Damon Trek's all about. You know, I'm not the best fisherman. You know, I'm not the best trekker, but we can find a place, as long as we endeavor to persevere, we can beat bush and we can hunt fish. And that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Okay, so uh, here we are at spot number three and we've got great access to the lake. And I gotta tell you, we've hit the Puerto Rican mother load. Dude, and do that. We wondered why nobody was fishing Lake Carrazo. Well, everybody that's fishing Lake Carrazo is fishing from right here. This is great. We have broken the code. So let's see what happens. Man, we just got here. I haven't even gotten the water yet. Mike got one. Oh, nice, Mike. Nice. Nice. Look at that baby. Ah, oh. Pesca, baby. Pesca. Pescado. Good job, Mike. <laughs> All right. Okay, so... We found out what these are from the gentleman fishing here. These are called guapotes. And uh, this is a small one, but you know, hey, they put up a great fight. Oh, look at you. <laughs> look at that. We're in the fish right now, baby. I'm glad we moved. Hey, you gotta move. That's what you gotta do. 
Where you from? Uh, I live in uh, Houston, Estados Unidos. Yeah. I, uh, he, Trabajando. Okay, so uh, we hit three different spots on Lake Carrazo. This by far was definitely the best. You know, we, uh, between the two of us, I think Mike, how many did you catch Mike? Eight. So Mike definitely caught eight keepers. Uh, I caught five, uh, caught a little, a, couple, a few little ones, but hey, a really good day of fishing, especially considering this is our first time at the lake. Uh, next time we'll know, come here at 5.30 or 6.30, uh, jump the fence and just start doing some fishing. Alrighty.